in this lecture we will talk about the summary of safety factors that normally prevent edema in the previous two to three lectures we have discussed in detail the three main safety factors that prevent edema in this lecture we will summarize their effects now we discussed in detail that the low compliance of interstitium in negative interstitial fluid pressure range is the safety factor against development of edema similarly increased lymph flow or the ability to increase 10 to 50 fold is an ability is a safety factor that prevent edema and finally the wash down of interstitial fluid protein is a safety factor to prevent edema and we discussed it, this thing that when the lymph flow increases it takes away the proteins and fats and extra fluid and which basically helps in decreasing the colloid pressure and uh, basically prevents edema now to summarize these three factors we must know that the low compliance of interstitium in the negative interstitial fluid range has the capacity to stop or prevent edema up to 3 millimeter of mercury now the capillary pressure the capillary pressure suppose for example this is a capillary and all the four forces are functional here if all these forces are normal then there will be no edema but if the, the capillary pressure if the capillary pressure after adjustment for increase or decrease in any of these forces is more than 3 or up to 3 then up to 3 millimeter of mercury increase in the any pressure can be safely uh, compensated or prevented with the help of the first safety factor the low compliance of interstitium in the negative interstitial fluid pressure range then the ability of the lymph flow to increase 10 to 50 fold can prevent a further increase of 7 millimeter of mercury increase in any of these forces or decrease in these forces basically the edema results when the when the net filtration is more and there is accumulation of fluid so it may either be due to increase in some pressure uh, forces or it may be due to decrease in some forces for example there may be increase in capillary hydrostatic pressure or there may be decrease in plasma colloid osmotic pressure but actually at the end point there is some increase in the capillary pressure which basically forces the fluid to go out of the capillary into the interstitium so up to three millimeter of mercury increase can be compensated with low compliance of interstitium then up to 7 millimeter of mercury increase can be compensated with the help of the lymph flow the increased lymph flow can compensate a further 7 millimeter of mercury increase finally if there is a uh, increase uh, proteins so for example the increase in proteins uh, also increases the chances of edema because proteins suck fluid from the capillary lumen into the interstitium and that force is basically the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure so the wash down of interstitial fluid proteins also contributes around 7 millimeter of mercury as a safety factor so if all these forces are combined if all these safety factors are combined together 3 plus 7 plus 7 is 17 millimeter of mercury so the combined safety of all these three safety factors is around 17 millimeter of mercury which means which means that the capillary pressure for example the capillary hydrostatic pressure it may increase by around 17 it may increase 17 mm of mercury above the normal and still and still no edema would occur it means that the the capillary pressure may increase the capillary pressure may increase by around 17 millimeter of mercury but still no edema would occur because of the combined because of the combined effect of these three safety factors which normally prevent edema so it means that there these are the natural methods these are the natural methods present in the body which all the time basically uh, can compensate small increase or decrease edema only occurs when these three methods or these safety factors have been exhausted suppose for example in severe heart failure or severe kidney failure or cirrhosis or any other conditions which are so much severe that the increase in the capillary pressure is so much high that it it is more than 17 millimeter of mercury uh, the net pressure we are talking about and it cannot be compensated with any or combined effect of these safety factor then edema will occur so that's the summary of the safety factors of that, that's the summary of all the safety factors that normally prevent edema thanks a lot for watching the video